First question here, which of the following is supported by the data in the chart? Radon has a higher melting point than titanium. Titanium and magnesium are both liquids at room temperature. Titanium, magnesium, sulfur, and radon are all solids at room temperature. Or radon is a gas at room temperature. So I've given you a chart here, and you can go ahead and pause the video and try to figure this one out. Okay, let's go over how to do this one. So the key to getting this question right is to understand that there are three states of matter that you must know for the GED. Some people call these the three phases of matter and some also call them the three stages of matter. Doesn't really matter what you call them, you just have to know that they are solids, liquids, and gases. And matter is anything that has mass or takes up space. So let's say that we start with solid and I'm gonna just abbreviate that with an S and that solid can become a liquid, which I'll abbreviate with an L. And then that liquid can become a gas. So what do we call it when a solid becomes a liquid? A solid becomes a liquid, we call that melting. Now what about when a liquid becomes a gas? What's that called? You guessed it, when a liquid becomes a gas, we call that boiling. So with this established, let's go ahead and define both melting point and boiling point. So I'm going to abbreviate melting point as just MP, and I'm going to do the same with boiling point. I'm going to call it just BP. And so the melting point is the temperature at which the state changes from a solid to a liquid. In other words, it's the temperature at which matter melts. Now, the boiling point is the temperature at which the state changes from a liquid to a gas. In other words, it's the temperature at which something boils. Let's look at a really quick example of this using water. So if we look at ice, which is the solid form of water, we'll see that at the melting point, ice is going to start to melt and become water. The state of matter is going to go from a solid to a liquid. Now let's look at boiling. So I'm sure you've probably cooked something on the stove where you had to boil water before, maybe it was pasta, and so you take the water and it's a liquid and you apply a really high temperature and the water is going to start to boil and it becomes a gas. So there's a phase change from the liquid to a gas and again, as I'm sure you know, that's what we call boiling. Okay, so with the context out of the way, let's turn to the question here. And so the question is one that you can solve by process of elimination. So let's go through all of these and let's evaluate each answer choice. So starting with A. Radon has a higher melting point than titanium. So this is pretty simple. We're just going to look at radon, which we see right here. And let me circle the melting point. It's negative 96. And we're going to compare that to titanium. So we see here that titanium has a melting point of 3038. So what's a bigger number, negative 96 or 3038? Well, hopefully you saw that titanium 3038 is a higher melting point, so therefore this is false. Radon has a significantly lower melting point, so I'm just going to cross A off up here so we don't get it confused. So let's look at B now. So B says that titanium and magnesium are both solids at room temperature. So first of all, what exactly is room temperature? So room temperature, which I'm going to abbreviate as RT, again RT stands for room temperature, is about 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, room temperature RT is about 70 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, and so we need to know if titanium and magne magnesium will be liquids, solids, or gases at room temperature. So let's look at the melting point here. And the reason we want to check the melting point is because the melting point is the temperature at which the state changes from solid to liquid. So let's start there. And we see that the melting point for magnesium is 1202 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so again, the melting point is the temperature at which a solid becomes a liquid. So we know that at 1202 degrees, magnesium will go from being a solid to a liquid. All right, so at 70 degrees, 70 degrees is well below 1202. So we know that magnesium is going to be a solid at room temperature. So this whole thing is false. We don't even really need to check for titanium, but just for fun, let's look at titanium. So we see that again, the melting point for titanium is 3038. And what does that really mean? Well, again, the melting point is the temperature at which a solid becomes a liquid. So at 3038 degrees Fahrenheit, titanium will become, go from a solid to a liquid. And so if we put titanium in a room at about 70 degrees, that's not going to be anywhere near the melting point temperature, right? So 70 degrees is much lower than 3038. So titanium is going to be a solid. And so therefore that B is completely false, that they are both going to be liquids at room temperature. They're both going to be solids. Let's check answer C now. So titanium, magnesium, sulfur, and radon are all solids at room temperature. Well, are they? 
Well, we already know that titanium and magnesium are both solids at room temperature because they have melting points that are higher than 70 degrees. Again, 70 degrees is about room temperature. Now, sulfur's melting point is 239, which is higher than room temperature. So therefore, at room temp, sulfur is going to be a solid. Now, what about radon? Well, we see that radon's melting point is negative 96. Therefore, at negative 96 degrees, radon is going to melt. So in other words, at negative 96 degrees, radon goes from a solid to a liquid. Then, at negative 79 degrees, we see that radon is going to become a gas. Therefore, radon will boil. It'll go from a liquid into a gas. So, a note here that negative 79 is a bigger number than negative 96. So, which would you rather owe? Negative, which would you rather owe? Say your credit card statement comes in. Would you rather it be negative 96 or negative 79? Well, obviously negative 79 because that would mean that you owe less money. All right, so just keep in mind that negative 79 is actually a bigger number than negative 96. And so, therefore, answer D is actually going to be the correct answer because we know that radon will be a gas at room temperature. So hopefully this question makes sense.